Yesterday, I actually ended up cleaning this entire table. I wanted to play some ping pong, and it really, I mean, to me at least, it looked quite strange with everything moved. Um, by moved, really, it's just shifted over there for now. Um, over here, we still have a ton of stuff. Really needs a lot of cleaning. It just feels so strange to have so much space here. Um, anyways, we're here on Sunday morning. You can probably even maybe tell from my voice or the way I'm talking, but let's take a look at what we have to do. So yesterday for, I think it wasn't Black Saturday, it was the uh, Saturday for the Black Friday weekend, so I put all minifigures 20% off, and I'm sure that maybe that was a bit too low, because um, I guess I got a lot of orders, and the Ashoka, which I had just opened up yesterday, all sold out. Um, we got obviously two more orders for those, and uh, two different people actually, so that's nice, I guess. We got three total orders, two on BrickLink and two on BrickL, so I'm just going to pack all those real quick, and uh, well, I won't pack them yet, I'll pick them, and then we can pack them. Alright, here we have today's order, so as you can tell, all Star Wars figures, because they were on sale. So here we have the clone, or um, I guess just the, the droids, um, 12 of them actually, so all new, I just wanted to count 12 parts of each just to make sure. Then we have um, some more clones, um, two of those that are used, then over here we have Ashoka, uh, one of, uh, in each order, and this order, unfortunately, I was missing one of the uh, bar four L's, uh, they were supposed to be two in white, I don't know, I must have overlisted them accidentally, so... I let the buyer know, and I just refunded them. Thankfully, on uh, on BrickLink, you can actually refund directly. And I guess I just wanted to also show you my my old business card before I get my new one. And let me see if I can do that, get that real close without completely messing it up. So it says, thanks for your order. You can receive a 10% coupon for your next order when you leave positive feedback. Um, I, I don't know. It's okay. I just really printed out on cardstock and just cut it out just like that. I think it looks okay. Um, the, the logo and the font is obviously, it's not, it doesn't match what I normally do. And I don't know. In general, I don't think it's the best. It's, it's not very like friendly. Um, it's like you can receive a coupon. I don't know. I think I think I can make a, bet, a better business card. So we'll see how the new ones are, and I guess we'll go from there. Anyways, I'm just gonna start packing this order. And here are our three orders for the day. So we got one with just a Ashoka in it. We have one with Ashoka and the lightsabers, and then we have the the new clone troopers and then the old or not the new the new the old oh my god the new droids and the old clones so i really like those stickers i think they're they're uh, pretty neat so um yeah that's really it for today's three orders um i'm not actually not even sure what i'm going to do for today's sales but i'll i'll hopefully put that up soon it's about eight in the morning and i'm going to go get these shipped out I have a couple of packages here right in front of me and I am going to try to adjust my camera hopefully so I can open that just right here on camera and these are actually just some pick up uh, I'll picking some packing supplies that I recently picked up sorry about that um, I'm honestly not sure because I, I purchased quite a quite a few items so we're gonna see exactly what is in this there we go nice and clean I guess all right, so on the first one here, we have an ink pad, or I guess if you want to call it the uh, stamp pad. Now, this is for my stamps, my custom stamp that I purchased, and uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, I guess. All you do, you put down your stamp and just go from there. So that's one of the items I purchased. Now, this package is quite heavy. I am not 100% sure what's in here, so let's check it out real quick. Let's see what it is. things in here. The first one comes from MF Label, mflabel.com. These are half sheet shipping labels and there are 100 seats in here so that's 200 labels and I paid I think $11.99 for this. This I believe was uh, six dollars. Um, I think yeah I, I'm gonna go ahead and open this for now because I'm gonna be needing this as soon as tomorrow because I already have orders that I received today that need to be packed. So let me try and open that as cleanly as possible and uh, so so basically what I was trying to do is I'm sure you guys are familiar with label printers right 
Um, shipping label printers are, or well, they tend to be fairly expensive, right? Um, you can actually get a decent one for 50, 60 bucks, but I, I was wondering to myself, um, instead of that, what if I just bought labels, right? I mean, it's about $20, and really what it is, is just, um, ooh, that's pretty neat. I included a couple of these stickers as extra. So what it is, is just these sheets with two halves, right? So you can just print out the labels, two, two on a page, right? And you just peel it off. It's like a sticker. Now, it is obviously quite large, so you might need to do just a bit of cutting or something like that just to make sure it fits. But, um, I mean, otherwise it seems like very, very useful, you know? Um, certainly going to be a useful product. And uh, this is definitely one thing that I really, really am very glad to finally have. This is a shipping and postal scale. Now, in the past, I have... Uh, I have purchased a scale quite a long time ago, actually, and uh, I, I don't know, I think I, I really just found the cheapest one, and I mean, even this one, it, it wasn't anything super, super expensive, but the, the issue with the, the scale I purchased last time was it was a food scale, right? So it wasn't built to be very to be very accurate or precise or anything, and I understand that. That's what I paid for, and that's what I got. Um, it's good. It was good for, like, just getting the general weight of items. And it still is good for that. I'm not going to throw it away or anything. I might sell it or um, I don't know exactly yet what I'm going to do with it. I'm definitely opening this pretty poorly. Anyway, so the reason I got this is to uh, use it as a counting scale. And uh, really what that does, it saves me a lot of time when I get pieces perhaps from the pick brick wall or something like that. I can save a lot of time by just tearing and then pouring it. So it takes the... Uh, the weight of a single item and then it divides it so hopefully it will be accurate enough um, there are some pieces that I have in quite high quantities that I have counted out very uh, precisely so I will open this up read the instructions get it started and then show you live on camera uh, if it actually works or if it's a bust well I guess it's always good to be careful on Amazon and in this case I was not careful at all so I, I just read this first part over here thank you for purchasing this good item and uh, after reading that I was already a bit concerned um, there are also some scratches but fine not a big deal um, I went to actually start with these um, what are these the leaf pieces I had right so the first thing I want to do was tear this pick a brick cup so um, I should explain to you that this is like pretty much a cord that's connected over here and this has a 9 volt battery as its power. So I press the power button, fine, uh, it's loading, and zero shows up. Awesome. Now I put this down, nothing shows up. I'm like, oh, yikes, maybe it's not working. So then I put this down over here and it shows 200. I say, oh, awesome, great. And uh, let's say maybe I take out a couple of pieces, it's still at 200. Now if I take out a lot of pieces, it's still at 200. Okay, maybe if we take out a ton, and look at that, now it's at 150. Oh, never mind, now it's at zero. So, um, see, the, I think the issue with the scale, look at that, it's doing it again. Um, I think the issue with the scale is it's, it's rounding to uh, a 50s. So, I guess I probably didn't read or I didn't understand, but this scale is extremely... Um, vague, like it's not very helpful. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you spend thirty-five dollars on a on a very high value uh, product. I'm definitely going to be returning this. It, honestly, it is definitely my fault. It's not their fault. I think this is um, not intended for anything. I mean, they showed on their product page that this is meant for counting, but I don't know what kind of items you're going to be counting where it can be this this inaccurate. Like. It goes from 50 to 200. Um, I'm sure that these are extremely light. I also noticed that on the page over here, in very small print, it says uh, readability is 50 grams or five ounces, and I'm assuming that's the uh, the minimum. So that extremely, extremely small weight, this is like 0.1 grams probably. So I understand that. That is my fault. I guess I was sort of foolish in thinking that um, for $35, you can get a, a good quality product like this. Um, unfortunately, that's not the case, uh, I guess. <laughs> For now, I will absolutely return this, see if I can find a, uh, at least a reasonable one. Maybe maybe I'm ready to spend even $100, but above that seems a bit uh, unreasonable. But uh, unfortunately, this was not 
and success. This was a complete failure. I guess a word of warning for you guys. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for this portion. Sorry, it was a bit not not that exciting. Um, I made a mistake, guys. Always be sure to read the description before you make a purchase. So we are here on Monday morning. It's about almost 10, actually. So I don't even know if you want to call it morning. It's late morning. Um, and uh, yeah, so I guess I am all obviously here a bit later than usual. I was trying to work with sales. I guess some some uh, issues there on Brickstock. But regardless, what I have in front of me here is just a post I made on the discussion forum yesterday. And I had some pretty crazy uh, deals going on, especially, uh, I don't know, Black Friday. Honestly, at my store, wasn't anything insane. Uh, this yesterday sales was pretty crazy, though. Um, I did the free sealed CMF on first five orders over 50, not a single one, so I guess that's okay. Um, free shipping on orders over 35, I think I got one of those. 10% um, off all black, red, and light bluish gray parts, 20% off white and dark bluish gray parts, 30% off sand blue and reddish brown parts, and then finally 40% off bright green, bright light blue, bright light orange, and bright light yellow parts. So yeah, that's what we have, I guess, for the um, uh, yesterday's sales, or that's that's the sales that were active yesterday. So as a result of that, I received two sales on Brick Owl, and then I think four on Bricklink. Now you might notice this uh, little um, exclamation mark over there. So that actually just goes to show that um, on on uh, PayPal, it has not been cleared yet. The payment has not been cleared yet so it might be an e-check or they might be just confirming so there was just i i guess uh, i'm gonna hold off on packing that just yet because i always like to pack the order after the money has been transferred um it's obviously a lot simpler you never want to pack an order before it's been paid for because perhaps they want to cancel it afterwards or something like that so we're just going to be packing five orders for now three on bricklink and three on brick or two on brick all Nothing on eBay. Um, eBay sales have been down. I guess I haven't really added much, so I don't see why uh, a, a lower inventory would uh, encourage people to purchase. So I might look again at adding some uh, figures. So um, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Though. For now, let's just get started on this. All right, all packed after, or not packed, all picked after about 30, 40 minutes. Um, these were actually very, very quick. This one took a bit longer, but it was also fairly convenient. I'm really happy with my new system. Brick Freedom is super useful, so I can just go down through the lots, and uh, it just all numbered. So most of them were in those drawers, so that was actually fairly easy. A lot of pick brick parts, actually. Um, those are from the pick brick wall. I believe those are from the pick brick wall. These I are, but I didn't buy them from there. These are also from the pick brick wall. Those are, and um, those are. So quite a few of those pieces. I'm happy, I guess. I'm going to update you guys <laughs> on the, the sales on the pick brick wall in a while. So those are all new pieces, and these are some used pieces. Um, a little bit interesting uh, tidbit of information that these had a lot of sticker res residue and I guess I didn't clean them when I was first parting them out so I decided that since they have sold I really should clean it up so what I have found is very useful I actually found this on a lego forum somewhere is use um a toothbrush and toothpaste. So just lightly put some water on the pieces. Obviously, I suggest you close your drain just because you don't want to drop the piece accidentally down the drain. That would really suck, especially if it's a valuable one. Um, so you just want to just scrub it with toothpaste, then wash it off with water, then dry it and see if it's still a bit sticky. Otherwise, do it again. And it's very effective. I'm not saying it's going to make it like brand new or anything, but it's very, very helpful, especially if you want to clean off uh, sticker residue. Um, this usually happens with some of the older sets. Um, here we have just a little dashing from the dog sitter or the dog walker from series 19. Um, just some new parts, nothing too crazy. Some used parts over here. And then uh, two CMFs. We have the Highwayman and the Gladiator. And then we have McCree from Overwatch and just a couple other cool little uh, figures, accessories. Obviously, this is the Butterbeer from the new Harry Potter series. Really, really cool piece. I <laughs> sold for almost a, a dollar, which is really quite expensive. Um, but yeah. I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start packing this order up. Wow, it looks like some of those are actually glowing. <laughs> all right, and all of the orders have been successfully packed. It did take a while, like usual. Um, I guess I'll just walk you through it real quick. We have the Dashin, just in a single bag. We have this one also in a single bag, and this one also in a single bag. So these first three were all such small orders that I was able to fit them even into one of the small single bags and this one was a bit larger so i had to use a bigger bag but it still all fit and then over here obviously in our largest orders i got to use the uh my, i guess my favorite used stickers so this is used and everything else is new i put the net into its own piece just like that and then we got one two and then three so 
five total bags, and that's going to have to go in the bigger one. Um, I do have the Uline boxes coming in soon, so that's where I'm going to start uh, doing most of my shipping from in the future, but for now I just have to use the bubble mailers. Um, yeah, that's really it for today, uh, or at least today's order. All right, so I'm here almost, I think, 240, 250. Um, so usually by this time of day, the USPS, um, my, my local carrier at least, so I schedule a pickup every day. So they come and they pick up the packages from my place. And this is a super, super awesome service. I really appreciate that USPS goes out of their way to do this. Uh, thankfully, I live right near, I guess, a community mailbox, so it's easier for them. Um, anyways, I'm going off tangent, but usually by this time of day, they would have picked up the package. Now, today is quite rainy where I am today. I think I said today too many times. Anyways, so they haven't come and picked it up yet. I think they might be off their schedule. And I just got this order from New York. Now, that's like the neighboring state for me. And since it's just a single piece, I thought I'd just go ahead and pack it real quick. Now, obviously, uh, uh, speed or... Uh, packing this on time is of the essence because otherwise uh, it won't be any point. Now, usually what I've started doing at least, and this is all from the Captain Marvel set, just one of the heads. So usually what I've begun to do recently at least is that I like to pack all of my orders. That's my uh, lunch, by the way. I like to pack all of my orders in the morning and pretty much how I do it is this like sort of cutoff. So all orders are received. So everything from noon to 6 a.m. the next day is packed in the morning. So this, for example, has been uh, received around 2 o'clock. And uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll add that. Um, I'll, I'll write it explicitly on my uh, shipping terms. Um, unfortunately, I, I haven't written that down yet, so I, <laughs> I need to make an effort to do that because, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it, it, it should be clear to all my buyers exactly what I do in my store. Um, this is also a new change I've made. Before, I just used to pack an order whenever I got it. And now this doesn't... I mean, I wouldn't say I got a lot more orders recently because uh, it's not really true. I got like four or five orders a day for Black Friday. And um, because of that, I have changed up a couple of the things. And the way I do stuff in my store has also changed a bit. Um, I'm also obviously working on some store expansion related stuff with the business cards, the new shipping labels, all that stuff. Um, by the way, I actually got the chance to use the new um, pre-cut shipping labels today. So all you do, it's like sticky paper. Uh, it's like sticker paper, actually. And what you do is you print out your shipping labels and um, you just cut them out. Uh, you don't need to use any tape or anything, so that's super useful. I think 12 bucks on Amazon for 200 sheets or 100 sheets with 200 labels because there's two on each page. Um, that's really it for this order. Nothing too crazy, just the uh, Nick Fury head. Let me see if I can focus the camera so you can see his facial expression. This is actually a two-sided figure, so I see why it's popular. Got one face like that and one like that. So really that's it. I'll uh, move on to the next clip now. Okay, we have a couple of packages in front of me. Um, so this first package over here, let me actually move the other two so you can see the strange dimensions. So this is pretty much almost three feet wide, um, about two feet uh, tall, and then like a couple inches deep. So I, I, I was like, wow, what is this? Is this like some sort of small TV or something? I opened it up because I had no clue what it was. And it turns out they actually packed the advent calendars like this. It's really unique. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's packed very, very well, actually. And this part actually just folds in just like that. It's very nice. Um, I don't think it's damaged at all because this is quite fragile, as, oh, as you may know. Um, it's like quite soft, so um, I'm glad that th at least this one looks in perfect condition. I bought this for about 20% off, and uh, yeah, I think that's a really, really good deal. I got three of them. Now, the interesting thing with these advent calendars is at least um, uh, some of the city ones, uh, they don't really seem to go up in value too much over the years. Like, even over 10, 15 years, I've seen, like, some of the old ones from the 90s not go for, like, crazy amounts, like some other sets. So I'm not sure if I'll invest in them. I might just build one. Um, I don't know. I'll see. Maybe give it away to a charity or something. That would be nice, I think. Um, we'll see, though. Uh, anyways, we have some more stuff over here. I'll open, I guess, in the order. So this box is yet another set that I was uh, purchased on Black Friday. 
Um, I think the set is retiring this year. Uh, so it definitely seems like a good investment to me. I'm not sure if it actually will retire or if it will actually go up in value a lot. But it is the Hogwarts Womp and Willow. And I purchased two of them. So this is a good set. 753 pieces comes with uh, Filch, Snape, and then four kids. Or whatever, four students, I guess. So cool set. And uh, yeah, so we have some Lego, and obviously, well, not obviously, but um, this is the last package. Well, I I wouldn't say last. I really am misspeaking quite a bit today. Um, this is my last Amazon package, at least for a while. Uh, this comes from, I think, Avery. And what it is, is a business card cutouts. So I'll try my best to explain it to you. It's it's pretty much just like these matte white business cards. Um, I guess, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of matte. I'll see how it feels. I think it, it looks like it would probably be pretty good. And it, it's already pre-cut and everything, so it's very easy. So all you do is you just design it online and then you just print it out. So it's super cool like that. I think, it, um, how many does that make? It says 10 cards per sheet. And I'm guessing, how many sheets are there? 400 cards, so 40 sheets. 400 cards is not bad at all. I doubt I'm going to get 400 orders in a, in a very small amount of time. Um, probably a year, even. If I go at the rate I've been going recently, it would take even a year. And I, I'm not sure. It might speed up, might get worse. We'll see, depending on how I park on the store. But I think this is a good good step. I'll, uh, I'll be designing them today, and I'll, I'll show you where it comes to. I'm probably just going to try it one sheet. See how it looks, feels, and then obviously I'm going to go from there. Um, that's really it for this. Okay, so we're here with, I guess, another small haul. Now, I know the last clip was a haul, but this came on a different day. Um, this is Monday, or not Monday, actually, it's Tuesday now. Tuesday morning, this comes from Target.com. And uh, surprisingly, this was not on any insane deal. This was just 20% off. I know that doesn't sound like the best, especially with some of the Cyber Monday deals that have been going on. So, I know... You guys are probably disappointed at me for not getting a good deal, but no worries. The set has been, or at least not the set, but the, the minifigures from the set, <coughs> excuse me, have been selling quite well. Um, here we have it, the Armored Assault Tank. So I already had three of these. I opened bags, I think just bag one, to take out these two figures, but otherwise everything is sealed. I am going to part this out today. It's a really small set, 286 pieces, and I have six copies already. I guess I could wait, but I'm not going to. I just want to add some pieces in. Um, this is going to take us to roughly 1,200 extra pieces. I think just 50 lots or so, not not anything crazy. I'm not 100% sure on that number, so I'll have to double check that. But yeah, just a quick little haul.